Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, two very different reactions from two former JEA executives after the culmination of their nearly three week federal fraud trial. Former CEO Aaron Zahn visibly upset after being found guilty. Former CFO Ryan Wanamaker smiling after his acquittal. It's a relief. I'm, I'm happy. I'm so thankful for the jury and the decision that they made. And um, I just, that, that's all I can really say right now. I'm, not lie. I'm sorry. I'm ready, ready to get you, back to life. How do you think your team did? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I have the best lawyers in the world. If anybody needs to hire someone, it's this guy. Zahn now faces a maximum sentence of 25 years in prison. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett tried getting his reaction after court. Is there anything that you do want to say at all, Aaron? I know you're getting a hug from your family, but this is important. Do you, obviously, you're going to appeal, but what do you think? I'm, I'm sorry, I do have to ask. You don't have anything to say at all. Both Zahn and Wanamaker were facing identical charges in what if some have called the biggest scheme to defraud taxpayers in the history of Jacksonville. For now, Zahn is free for the next 90 days until he is sentenced. The sentencing date is June 18th on conspiracy and wire fraud convictions. There were two separate juries for Zahn and Wanamaker. Wanamaker thanked his legal team and family after the jury in his case reached a not guilty verdict. Many local leaders have been reacting to the outcome of this closely watched trial. News for Jack's reporter Ariel Schiller joins us live in the studio tonight after speaking with members of the community. Ariel? Yeah, that's right. Prosecutor Tyson Duva said this was an important case for Jacksonville. And I spoke with several people who were grateful to see the justice system work. You don't have anything to say at all. He's not no make comment, any Aaron Zahn, the former JEA CEO, did not answer questions from the press as he left the federal courthouse Friday. He was found guilty on both counts of conspiracy and wire fraud for a scheme prosecutors said would have resulted in Zahn and other JEA executives making millions in bonuses if the utility was sold. While Ryan Wanamaker, Zahn's former CFO, was found not guilty on both counts. My colleague, News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott, spoke with Wanamaker outside the federal courthouse after the verdicts were read. And for your family, I mean, you had support here. A lot of people were telling us they didn't believe that you would be found guilty in this. So, I mean, did you feel that support coming in? It's a relief. I'm, I'm happy. I'm so thankful for the jury and the decision that they made. And... Um, I just, that, that's all I can really say right now. I'm, not gonna lie. I'm sorry, I'm ready, ready to get back to life. We met Kevin McFeeters outside the Iceman game. He's been following the trial and learned of the verdict when we asked him about it. He's thankful checks and balances stopped the scheme from happening. It's nice to see that the justice system sometimes does work. You know, it's not always the case when you see all the evidence presented. Granted, the general public sees a lot more than what the jury does, but, you know, this is a time where I think the justice system succeeded. We also met Melinda Truman outside the Iceman game. She says she's followed bits and pieces of the case. She feels the city avoided a big scam. You know, knowing that there's checks and balances that stopped this from going through, what does that mean to you just as someone who is a taxpayer? Well, it, it, it's wonderful. You know, it's just, it's, it's showing us that somebody is watching out for us and checks and balances are working. Again, Zahn could face up to 25 years in prison for those charges. His sentencing is scheduled for June 18th. Reporting live in the studio, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station.